An unusual event has been declared. Emergency at a non-power reactor site due to a campus gas leak. Supposed gas. I don't think we can take the NRC at their word. They emphasize gas several times, so I'm a little bit suspicious of the gas term at this trigger two reactor used to make radioactive isotopes. This reactor at Kansas State University is right next to some dormitories. Can you imagine sleeping next to a nuclear reactor? Uh, 50 years old at that. And the reason why I'm telling you, I believe it's more than just gas. If you go to the raw data, you can see that right near this site, this is Kansas State University, they have really high readings. 428, we have a spike of 504 CPM. And just recently on July 24th, a spike of 474. Right now it's 315. The interesting thing about Kansas State University, K-State, they just received a grant just a couple years ago to find out what happens when you mix seawater inside of a nuclear reactor. So they're the ones that's going to be telling us the effects, the unknown consequences of dumping seawater, like in Fukushima. The licensee declared an unusual event on 7-21-2018 due to a detected leak near a campus dormitory. The reactor was not impacted, so they say. This is a 53-year-old reactor. Even with this NTC site, they're not picking up all the reactors that are out there, especially these medical research reactors. I guess because people feel they're so small that they can't do too much impact, but they certainly can because their containments are a lot weaker. So they're more prone to environmental leaks. This is a rad forecast for the rest of the country. This is a 24 hour sequence of the rad cons. We have some flare up on the Washington coast. Towards the end of this, you're probably going to see a Radcon 5 near the Washington Oregon border. It's right there.